John, what did you focus on with your off season? Now that you've had a full year of ACC play un uninterrupted, what have you focused on to be better about yourself? Uh, you know, not, knocking down shots, that was my biggest thing for going into this season, you know, being able to hit down the open shot and just getting in better shape, uh, same as last year. Coach, uh, sorry, Sorry, Chris. Okay. No, there's a number of new shooters, obviously, on your team. Uh -huh. What's for you, what's the excitement of thought of those guys being open, opening up things for you down low? You know, it's amazing having shooters because now, you know, I could get play single coverage. You know, if teams want to play double coverage, I hit open shooters. So, you know, it's, it's great having shooters come in out. How, how active were you this offseason in trying to recruit guys, trying to get transfers to come in here? Jeff, Jeff said that you were always like texting him, hey, you got to talk to this guy, you got to talk to that guy. How much did you take that on yourself? Uh, I feel like it was like a lot for me, you know. I wanted the guys to come in and come to pit and, you know, help us win. You know, we lost a lot of guys last year, so bringing new guys in with great character and great personality, that was the best thing for us. All these guys who came in as transfers, I mean, Nelly and Greg and, and Blake and all them, how much did you talk to them before they – Oh, man, I was talking to him a lot, you know. I'm not going to say I was talking to him every day, but, you know, we was talking a lot, you know, just I was helping them understand the system here, help them best understand Coach Capel and, like, what he does and how he operates. Was that your sales? I mean, what was your sales pitch? I mean, how do you, how do you try and sell it to those guys? It really wasn't a sale, you know. We just go, I tell them, you know, this where dogs are made, you know. We go, come here, it's going to be a battle every day. And, uh, you know, they was in it. How much is all this? Basically, the new guys and the depth that you have now in competition, how much do you think that's going to make you guys better come game day? Well, I feel know? like it's going to help us a lot. You know, guys, guys pushing each other in practice. You know, we got a lot of guards, guards pushing the guards to be better. I got to push them on our, our new bigs to be better, you know. Greg said when you guys were talking on the phone that you told him, hey, I'm tired of playing in a crowd. He said, I can help with that. What has been his demeanor and what have you seen from him so far to get you excited to play up play offense this year? And just knocking down shots. You know, Greg is a, a very good shooter. Just having him on the court with me at the same time, I feel like that opens up my game a lot. You know, I could locate him in the, either, either in the corner or on the wing, you know. Great John, to have a guy who can shoot the ball like Greg. John, Jeff said this offseason was about getting in great shape, not just good shape for mm -hmm. you personally. Um, how have you kind of reacted to that challenge, and do you feel like you're in great shape? Uh, and I reacted to the challenge pretty good. You know, I'm not going to say I'm in great shape, you know. I feel like i got to get in much better shape, but I'm in pretty good shape, you know. How will you know, how will you know that you're in that great shape that you need to be in? We, just, you know? we come to see first game. John, what's different about your game this year? Uh, I wouldn't say nothing much is different, you know, just got sharper and better, uh, sharper in more areas. I wouldn't say much is better. You know, I'm a better player, better leader, better person. How difficult was it carrying two or three guys down, down low every game, you know, with guys defending you with double teams and, you know, you holding know, back it, all the time? It was difficult, but it, but it, uh, it made me better, though, I could say. It made me better, a better player, seeing what I, like, the mistakes I made last year and just helping me grow into this year. So, like, seeing that double team last year, I know what to do with it this year. John, you spent uh, this offseason playing in Spain for the USA East Coast team, and you were one of the top performers. How, what was that experience like for you, playing with a bunch of other college players? And <clears throat> was you sort of a, a leader on the team when it comes to how it was playing or just with your overall takeaways from the experience? No, it was a great experience being able to play with, you know, different guys from different universities. You know, great. You feel me? We we build friendships. You know, it was just it was a great experience. You know, all that talent and me being able to still get off my game. You know, it's, it's it was fun. Do you feel like you spent a lot more time, or you're, you've gotten better at rather finding the open man? Like when they're double teaming you, being able to identify where it's coming from. Because I know that was something that you got better at last year. But of course, that's something that you you always work to improve your game. Q asked that question one more time. I'm sorry. sorry. Do you feel, how do you feel like you've gotten better at identifying who the open man is when teams double and sometimes triple team? I feel like that's always been like a, a good thing for me. So it's like, yeah, you know, I always see the open person. I'm a pass first. You know, I like to get other players involved before myself. Coach said that this could be the most talented roster he's had, but there's still quite a bit of, out there to prove. What do you guys feel like you have to do to prove that, you know, winning obviously is one thing, but coming together and building this program back up to where it once was. What do you feel there is to prove this year? You know, we got to prove that we tough, you know, that we can stay together. When things go downhill, you know, just make sure we don't go scatter apart, you know, come together and as one. You know, just build it brick by brick, what Coach always says. You feel like you've done that in the past, kind of scatter apart when things kind of get tough? Yeah, definitely. 
John, uh, Chad Goodman, who, who released the Almanac today, had you as an all-ACC first team. Do you believe that you can play up to that level and potentially be a conference player year can And what do you have to do to, to make sure that happens? Definitely. You know, I, I definitely think I'm a first team. You know, and I, I feel like I could take that step, that next step to the level of being a, you know, the ACC player of the year. I just got to let my game show. You know, I'm not going to come in here and say what I can say. It's just I'm going to let my play speak for me on the court. Who of the new guys has have you seen kind of been impressed by their tone? Not necessarily how they're playing in practice or anything like that, but like how they, they've carried themselves, how you've seen their demeanor day to day from practice or workouts or anything. You know, all of them, they all they all come in and like locked in, you know, they, they knew they some of them are freshmen, some of them are transfers. So the freshmen, you know, is is it's it's not I'm not gonna say it's hard for them, but it's a new. You know, the, the speed is different, the pace. So like all the young guys I, I command them, they came in here locked in ready to play, ready to work. John, do you remember playing against Nelly last year? And, and what's that relationship been like with him? Uh, yeah, I definitely remember playing Nelly last year. And me and, him, me and Nelly got a really good relationship. You know, that's our point guard. So me and him have to be, like, on together. How do you build that? Is it just repetition? How do you, how do you oh, yeah, repetition, work? hanging out with each other, you know, just little stuff like that. Jeff said uh, <clears throat> Jorge and Guillermo are, are tall, but they need to get stronger. They need yeah. to bulk up a little bit. Have you, like... Try to get physical with those guys. I mean, and you know, how they kind of handled it when you physical you know. with them every day in practice. You know, I, I let them know every day they got to get stronger. So you know, push them around, bully them. It's it's all good now. How, how do they handle? I mean, you've got a lot of weight on them. I mean, how how do they handle it when you do that? You know, it's it's I, I, I'm, I'm me. You know, it's, it's pretty much they handle it pretty good though. They handle it pretty good.